Hello my friends, welcome back! We are in a solo piski and I'm here with the master Michal and he's going to show you traditional Turkish bow shooting. Several techniques and we're gonna also try in the end if it's gonna be possible to penetrate the real shield. So, let's get started! The, this bow is typical traditional Ottoman war bow. It's a horse bow, of course, and the bow is made from uh, natural materials. Uh -huh. uh, belly is from cow horn, mm -hmm. buff buffalo horn. Uh, core is from wood, uh, maple usually. And uh, uh, this part is uh, from uh, cow tendons. Uh, bow is uh, covered by skin. Mm -hmm. uh, th th this bow has only 90 pounds, uh, it's quite a light bow, <laughs> normal, normal war bow were from uh, uh, 110, uh, 110 pounds approximately. The mm -hmm. yeah, bow is short because this is horse bow for, for shooting from horseback. Uh, th this one is modern version of this bow uh, from fiberglass ah. and wood. And th 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 this one uh, is from uh, f from horn, sinew and uh, wood, but glued by modern glues uh, because uh, it con consists with rules of EF EFAA regulations. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, from comp it's for competitions. The speed of this bow is uh, about uh, 240 uh, feet per second, uh, of course. Uh, it's a uh, quite a high velocity for 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 bow. Turkish bows and Turkish archery is uh, unusual in what uh, context uh, because Turks uh, uh, were using very light arrows. Normal war arrows in Europe were about a quarter pound, and Turkish around 30 grams. Only. 30 grams only. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm, be, because mm -hmm. it's for high velocity and high distance shooting. Uh, Turkish mm -hmm. rec record in uh, shooting uh, to uh, distance, uh, uh -huh. flight shooting, is uh, 842 meters. What? 800? Over 800 meters? Yes. Yes. That's insane. Yeah, yes, yes, but uh, it's, it's a special bow for, the, for, for, the, for this discipline, uh -huh. uh, a li little bit different. This bow has short handle, mm -hmm. short limb and rigid part. Th 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 this part uh, is called kasan and this tip is bash. There is uh, a small piece of uh, ivory, it means god. Uh, th th this bow has uh, some symbolic. Uh, lower, lower limb uh, is devil and upper limb is god. Ah, <laughs> it's like a yin yang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, so do you think maybe you want to show us some techniques? Yes. Okay, let's see guys. So we have good challenge for the warm up for Michael and it's gonna be like this. He will try to hit the white tail on about 30 meters. Behind the fence there is like a rounded target that's on 50 meters. And the last one will be sheep on the hill and that's about 70 meters. Wow, crazy guys. So let's see. The yeah. typ typical shooting technique for, for horseback archer is tomb release. I'm using tomb ring. Guys, it's really cold here, so we want to warm up a little bit more and we figure it out a little friendly challenge. We will try to figure it out and hit four targets. Arrows versus throwing knives. Michal will be standing on one place and me, you know, I have to run to the targets and let's see how the times it's gonna be, so. I could be a little lazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So 
So guys, I was just a few seconds faster, but on the battlefield I would have big disadvantage because I would have to get closer to the target. Instead, Michael was just shooting from one place. So that's advantage for him. Now he's going to show you maybe two of shooting on different targets and after we will get to the test. So have a fun. So before we will get to the actual test with the riot shield, we have a little bonus. And what it is, Master Yaku? So we have here one uh, 19th century bread plast, so we will try to penetrate it with arrow and after that with this uh, no Drawing knives. knife. Let's see guys. Uh, we are really want to see what is gonna happen. This arrow is modern target arrow with, with modern feel point and this wow. one for, for a, real, a real shield is a replica of Turkish armor. Wow, so this one we're gonna try on the actual yes. rad shield? Yes. Wow, look at that guys, it's really insane. But of course, like I said, give me one more try with the throwing knives. Look at that guys, we have actual three holes on the breastplate and even the one the knife was staying. <laughs> Let's see, Ooh, very nice, looks like from so nine millimeter. And very actual, very similar to this, that was from the arrow. Okay guys, now it's time for the riot shield. So, Michal, what do you think that is going to happen? I don't know, because it's flexible material. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I have arrows against armor, really uh -huh. armor. And I, it, it, it will be a surprise for me. It's very, very durable. So we're going to use uh, two types of arrow, right? Yeah, yes, target arrow and armor arrow. All right, guys, let's see. So look at that guys, after one shot with the practice arrow, we penetrated only one layer. So anybody behind the sh uh, shield would be actually protected. But now we still have the armor piercing arrow. So let's see if we can get actually through. It's uh, Michal time. Wow guys, look at that. So with the armor piercing arrow, we actually get through the, even the other side, as you can see. So in theory, maybe someone would be a little bit hurt, but not some major damage. But even that, my head's down before the Michael because the penetrated both layers, pretty insane. Wow, very cool. Really nice on the tip. You can see guys, it was properly heat treated and the tip it's like a brand new wow these shields are very very durable wow guys what an amazing experience i would like to thank very much to michal it was really cool and as you can see we even penetrated the riot shield so be sure to check out the other episodes of the lords of blades as well but for today, that's it. So, thank you one for watching. Share, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.